Morning, partners. Happy Friday to you. I'm excited about this one uh, and a little bit nervous because we're cutting with um, one of my, my treasured possessions. This is the Chavez Scapegoat. Um, I love this knife very much. This was my first Chavez and still my only Chavez, although I plan on getting more. Um, and this was at the time the most I'd ever spent on a knife. Uh, I bought this uh, used, but uh, it was like new in box. Not a scratch on her. Beautiful condition. And um, I've carried this and very, very lightly used it, uh, but never, never really put it through a cut test. Um, and I just kind of wanted to see what it can do, you know? Um, I love Chavez's knives. Uh, this is ergonomically amazing. Um, one of the smoothest uh, thumb stud frame locks in my collection. Um, just a just a freaking wicked ass design. Uh, I love everything about it. Let's check the edge. This is the factory edge. Only ever stropped it. Really nice factory edge. This is made by Riot using M390 blade steel. We have pretty thick blade stock, um, but it gets down to a nice thin edge, so I'm very curious to see how she slices. Now, I'm locked out of the shop because I'm early for doing the video here, and I um, forgot to bring cardboard, so we're just going right to the, the triple thickness stuff because that's all I got. Going with the grain on this stuff, really, really simple. Very easy to push through. Already pretty surprising. Let's go against the grain on some cuts. A little harder to push through, but very surprised to see how well this is passing through the cardboard. This is thick blade stock, um, which is why I was expecting it to, I mean, I, I knew it would cut pretty well. I didn't know it would slice this well. I didn't know it would pass through this really thick cardboard that easily. Really impressive. They have a very large forward finger toil, so when you're slicing through uh, material like a cardboard, you kind of want to brace your finger uh, up against the cardboard like you see right here. Um, so choke up and then kind of run your finger along the cardboard, and uh, that helps you know, that prevents the cardboard from slipping in into the cutting choil or the finger choil and uh, stopping your cut. This thing is sliced very well. Really impressed so far. Let's try some utility cuts. This is not the best blade shape for utility cuts. Uh, this is a drop point or maybe even a, I don't even know, it might be even like some kind of a clip point but a pretty low tip still for, um, for a drop point. So you gotta raise your wrist up a little bit, but dude, I, I was really surprised at how easily this was cutting this stuff. I mean, this is, I usually don't do the utility cuts with the triple thickness either. Uh, this is the triple thickness cardboard. Uh, holy shit. Wow. <laughs> uh, I was, I, I was really, I was very surprised. Nice clean cuts too. And I wasn't having to raise my wrist into a super awkward high position like I thought I would. Let's check our edge. Bam. Really, really, really sharp. Gosh. I mean, I already know how it goes because I'm doing this voiceover after the fact. Uh, this is one of the, the most exciting cut tests I've done in a while just because, yeah, I don't know, it just, it did really well. Let's cut the glove. Oh my God. <laughs> What the hell? It's seriously like chopping up a cucumber. So easy, dude. One pass through, I just, I had to, sh I had to move the camera and, and show you this. Look at that. It's like, they're like little sushis. <laughs> Holy crap, man. 
This thing is just keeping, uh, it, it just keeps surprising me. Really clean cuts. All right, let's move on to some rope and some straps. Ergonomically, by the way, um, zero hot spots, absolutely zero. The uh, the titanium scales here have no milling on the inside, and they're pretty thick, um, so it's heavy. But oh my god, it fills out your hands just so nicely. Almost through the strap, a little bit left over. But yeah, man, it just it fills out your hands. Perfectly. Trying another one choked up now. Bam, check it out. All the way through, baby. It's a very neutral handle. Um, not many finger grooves and weird curves going on. Um, but man, Chavez just does such a good job at taking relatively simple lines and just putting them together in such a way that... Uh, creates just a super badass, wicked looking, super sleek, mean looking knife. So we're blasting through the rope in the meantime here. Not an issue whatsoever. This is a cutting tool. It is not only a very well-made knife, very, uh, a perfectly designed knife but it is an absolute cutting tool this was made with cutting in mind not just aesthetics you can tell as soon as you start cutting with it um, down to you know how the blade feels or how the handle feels in your hand to the uh, geometry of the blade and look at our edge after all this testing, cleanly slicing paper. I mean, gosh. <laughs> Let's drop it up a little bit. M390 is, um, yeah, it doesn't respond the best to this drop. Uh, but we will be able to uh, t be able to tell a difference with a little bit of stropping here, for sure. It's just if your if your edge is, um, you know, uh, your edge can can pretty easily be too far gone uh, to bring back on the strop with M390. Sometimes uh, if you wait too long to strop it, you're gonna have to uh, take it to the stones. I'm just I'm just so impressed with this knife. Um, I didn't know it was gonna cut so well. I really didn't. Um, this is one of my favorite knives, just aesthetically and, and how it feels in hand, the action, the smoothness, the design. Um, and now that I see how well it cuts, um, it just bumped it up to another level for me. Look at how beautifully we're slicing. So clean, man. So clean. This is an absolute pleasure to cut with. Really. This is going to be a tough one to keep on the shelf now. Um, you know, I, I want to keep it nice and pretty without any scratches, but man, it's going to be tough now that I <laughs> now that I see how fun it is to cut with. It just it it it. it it cuts exactly how I want it to. It almost feels like an extension of your hand in a way. And with this really enlarged finger toil, um, I don't know, man. I, I've never, I don't have any knives with this deep of a finger toil. Um, it feels really unique choking up and putting your finger in there. Um, I don't know, it just feels like I have really a lot of control over the edge when my finger is in there um and even choked back man uh, i mean 
I already mentioned it, but just zero hot spots. Absolutely zero. And the fact that it's thicker, um, you know, beefier handle, uh, it just feels so good. Just squeezing this thing. Action is still perfect. Centering is perfect. Lockup, perfect. Um, yeah, just really, really, really happy. This is a, a precision tool that just also happens to be super wicked and badass looking. So, big, big Chavez fan, even more so now. Can't wait to get more of his knives in the collection. Thanks for watching, dudes. Please like the video before you bounce out, and I will see you next time. Later.